Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations and in today's video you will learn 20 tips and tricks in After Effects under 9 minutes. So let's begin. If you create a shape layer and you want its anchor point to always remain in the center, then you can enable this option. Go to Edit, Preference, go to General and from here you can enable this center anchor point in new shape layer just click on ok now whenever you create a shape layer you can see that its anchor point will always stay in the center next is multi frame rendering now this feature was available in the older version of after effects and after that they removed it and now it's back once again so this basically allows you to render multiple frames at once using the multi core cpus so in order to enable this setting you can go to edit preferences memory and performance and from here you can enable multi frame rendering and this will increase your rendering speed a lot now the latest version of after effects comes with a very cool feature which allows you to see the render time of each layer so you can enable it by simply right clicking under columns from here you can enable render time and you can see that it will give you the time that each layer is taking to render it out so if you want to uh, have a quick preview you can disable some of the effects or layers which are causing you more render time simply just like this so you can see that overall the render time is reduced just like that so this is available only in the latest version of after effects you know you can copy the effects from one layer and paste them onto the other layers but there is a very nice way to do that so if you select the layer you can select the effects on top of it after that you can go under the edit and just copy with property links and then select the layers on which you want to paste then simply press ctrl v and paste it now you can see that you can control all these parameters from the main layer and you can change the color or whatever properties you have just like this. So this is a very nice feature if you want to link multiple properties. Sometimes you have an animation and you want to move it and change its position but you can see that if I move it, it will break all the animation sequence and there is a very nice way to do that. So you can create a new null object, go to layer, new, null object. After that you can select the layer and just simply parent it to the null. Then you can select the null and just move it wherever you want. And you can see that without changing the animation we have moved our object. You can do any kind of transformation on it. After that you can just simply delete the null. And now you can see that the position has been changed. Now we all are familiar with the very powerful expression called the wiggle. So you can apply it on any property. Just simply type wiggle. And you have to provide two parameters. You can just add 2, 100. So you can see that now our object is wiggling at 2 wiggles per second for about 100 pixels. And you will notice that it's very hard to control it. But there is a very nice technique that you can use. So just simply select the layer and just search for slider control. Just drag it onto this layer and just duplicate it. After that you can go under the wiggle expression and then just simply highlight the first parameter and pick whip the first slider. And do the same thing with the second one. Highlight the second one and just pick with the second slider. After that you can control it by simply using the slider. So you can set this to 2 and you can set this to 30. And now you can see that we have the wiggle. You can increase this value. Something like this. And the best part is that you can animate these sliders. So you can just add a keyframe. And after that you can animate it however you want. So if I play back here you can see we can control the wiggle by using the sliders. Sometimes you have a layer which has the effect and animation applied and you want to replace it with a different one. Then you can just simply select the layer, hold down the Alt key or Option key if you are on Mac. Then just simply select the other footage and just drag it onto it. So now you can see that the footage has been replaced. Sometimes you want to make changes inside a pre-comp and you want to visualize those inside the main comp. And the best way to do that is just simply locking the layer. And after that double click and open the pre-comp layer. Then you can just move it to the side and just open the main layer in the next comp. Now you can easily move these points and you can see the updates in real time. Just like this. Sometimes you want to crop a composition to a particular region. Then you can select this option and after that just simply highlight the area you want to crop. Then go to composition and from here select crop comp to region of interest. And you can see that now it has cropped our composition according to that. If your After Effects is running slow and sometimes during the preview you see some glitches then you can fix that by simply going to edit under the purge and just click on purge all memory and disk. So this will remove all the garbage data just click on ok and it will make your After Effects much faster. If you have a layer and you want to make it faster or slower then you can just simply right click under the time you can choose the time stretch option or you can just simply right click under the columns you can enable the stretch option from here you can directly stretch your layer to however you want you can make it faster or slower 
it's completely up to you. If you want to create a basic typewriting effect, then just simply select the text layer and under the presets panel, just simply search for typewriter and drag the animation preset onto layer. Now, if you play it, you can see that we have this typewriting effect. Now you can select the layer, press U and you can move the keyframes to make this faster or slower, however you want. Just add some sound effect and you are ready to go. If you have some text and you want it to follow a particular path, then you can simply select the text, then select the pen tool. And after that, you can draw a path and you can go under the path properties. And from here, you can enable the path option. Just select the mask one. And from here, you can animate the first margin and last margin. And you can see that your text will follow the path. In After Effects, if I move this timeline indicator, then you can see that this region will display me the time or second at which my cursor is and if I hold down the control key and click on it now you can see that it will display me the frame number so this is how you can switch between frames and the time seconds if you have a shape layer then you can select it and you can choose between different fill options by simply clicking on this fill button and from here you can switch between them or you can use the shortcut by simply selecting the layer hold on the alt key and then just simply click on it and you can see that it will cycle through all these different modes after Effects has a very powerful way in which you can customize the look of a layer using the layer styles. So you can select the layer, right click under the layer style. You can see we have these bunch of different options. So you can use any of these. And after that, you can play around with these settings and you can get some really nice different results. And you can play around with these settings. So you don't have to apply any effect on to this. This is all inside the layer. The latest version of After Effects has this new feature called speculative previews. So basically, if your timeline indicator is idle inside After Effects for a particular time duration, you can see that After Effects will automatically start rendering the frames just like this. You can enable this option by going to the edit under preferences, previews, and from here you can set the time duration and you can play around with the other options as well. So if you want to have a coffee break, well, you can have, but After Effects will do the job in the background. The latest version of After Effects comes with this very nice feature. So if you have a composition, you can add this to the render queue and you can see that we have this option notify when the render queue is complete. So if you enable it and you can start the render queue, once the rendering is finished, After Effects will send you a notification on your phone. For that, you need a Creative Cloud subscription and also you need a Creative Cloud app on the mobile. You can also enable this option by default if you click on the stopwatch and after that just simply check this automatically enable notifications. Now After Effects comes with a lot of panels and you can see that when you are working on a project, if you have a smaller screen, then this can be very difficult to manage and you can add more space on your screen by simply using these two tricks. You can just simply right click and from the taskbar, you can hide the taskbar and you can go inside the After Effects and you can press the control and this slant key which is below the backspace and you can see that it will make the After Effects in the full screen. So this will give you a little bit more space to work around. If you have multiple layers and you want to sort them using the in point, then you can just simply select the comp and then go to file under the scripts. You can select the sort layer by in point and you can see all the layers are sorted using the in points. So here's a bonus tip for you if you want to learn after effects and motion graphics then you can just simply subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enable the notifications so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one